Okay, we're here. All right. Well, hello, Facebook. Melissa and I are here with you guys tonight. So as you start hopping on, um, I'm going to ask that you let us know that you're here and also let us know where you are watching from. Um, so Melissa's in Wisconsin. Am I right? Yes. I just second guess myself there. I'm in Texas. Um, I think the whole country all of a sudden is experiencing winter, although I'm still in my tank top today. <laughs> I did have on a, a hoodie earlier when I got out and about. Um, but yeah, so uh, yeah, let us know where you are watching from. And then if you happen to be catching the replay, then please let us know that you are watching the replay. We just love to see who's here. Um, feel free to interact with us. Feel free to even ask questions questions as you're on. Um, the, the reality is um, we keep getting so many people that are asking us, what is this Thrive thing? What is this Thrive thing? Um, obviously, you see the theme here, health is wealth. And um, this is actually something that I'm super passionate about. I will not go a day without. Um, it has absolutely made a huge change in my life. And so I like bringing in other people that are experiencing the same thing, that are just as excited as I am, um, and hearing their story because everyone is just so different. We all have such a different story, right? So, oh, okay. I definitely see people hopping on now. So that's super fun. Um, okay. So um, we're going to get started. Um, like I said, um, I'm Maria Dillard. I'm out here in West Texas. I know we've got a lot of Melissa's friends on here as well. And um, we've probably got a lot of thrivers that are actually starting watch parties um, just to kind of validate to their friends that they aren't the only people out there talking about Thrive. <laughs> And um, I've got Melissa Topper here with us, and I'm super excited just for her to share a little bit about her story. So, Melissa, I gave all my friends a little bit of a bio um, that you had sent me, and it seems like you were super skeptical. So, <laughs> take us back to when you were first introduced to Thrive. Tell me where you were and what your initial thoughts were. And you don't have to candy coat anything around here. Like <laughs> my friends are used to kind of getting the raw deal, you know. Oh yeah, hold hard back. Hold it at all. <laughs> yeah, you can just spill it all. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for having me on here. And when Thrive was first introduced me to me about four years ago, um, I was bus driver here in Wisconsin, um, and I was working two other part-time jobs. Um, you know, getting the kids off to school, doing all the jobs. You know, getting the kids home from school. I got home and I was grumpy with my husband. He was afraid to hug me. I was, you know, screaming at my children all the time. Like I was just that yelly mom. And when my friend walked into the bus barn wearing a sticker on her arm, oh, <laughs> I, you know, drinking like my second Coca Cola of the morning. And I'm like, girl, you have lost your mind. You have joined a cult. It's a fad. It'll never last. And when she left, Maria, I started planning her intervention. Mm -hmm. I thought that people were stealing her money, telling her that the sticker was making her feel good. So that was my first introduction to Thrive. Like, I, you know, I'd, I hadn't really heard about it. It wasn't on my news feed. My friend just walked in with a sticker and I was like, oh, she has lost her mind. OK, so tell me, did you know that there was anything more than the sticker because that's only step well that's step three of our three-step system so you didn't know that there was a step one or two and she may have told me but i didn't hear oh yeah <laughs> I knew was it was a weird sticker and i was yeah. like no thanks yeah yeah that's so funny so um what was it that made you change your mind and, and how long did you hear about her like walk us through all that too long i waited like a year I watched her thrive for a year and she was looking better and feeling better and having more energy. I went through another year of my life chugging Coca-Cola. My husband was still afraid to touch me. My kids were like, oh, you know, there was the jokes in the house of don't poke the bear. And it was just it was I was I there was nothing left for me to give to anybody. I was barely holding it together. And so after watching her for a whole year, um, and still I really didn't know much, you know, yeah. I, just, I, I couldn't bring, bring in any more than what I was already, you know, trying to, you know, survive with. So I didn't hear much. But when I finally said yes, I, 
again, super, I'm like probably the meanest person she has ever brought in to thrive. Um, I, one of my friends was like, yeah, you the first time and you were like scary. Like, I'm just, I was mean. And I told her, I'm like, okay, I'm going to start one because I wanted to stop thinking about it. I'm like, yeah. I'm going to start it. It's not going to work for me. And then I can stop thinking about it. Okay. Two, I just, I, I just needed to, you know, know for myself, but I told her, I said, one, don't tell a single soul that I'm wearing this sticker. It was November. I was able to hide it. So I told her if she told anybody, I wasn't going to be her friend anymore. And, <laughs> and Wait, keep this thing a secret. We call we call those closet thrivers. Yeah. I was so far in the back of the closet, it wasn't yeah. even funny. Like yeah. it was bad. So yeah, I started super skeptical, super only doing it for four weeks, and then I was gonna be done. And and you know, and she was like, okay, you know, bless her heart, she's still with me at that, <laughs> like still talking to me, but she knew I needed it. So that's how I I finally said yes in the closet. That is so funny. So how long did it take you to notice a difference? I mean, was it, was it right away? Did it take a while? Um, well, my husband and I differ on that a little bit. Um, if you ask my husband first day, he noticed when he came home from work, I wasn't on the couch. I was actually like not in my customary couch spot. I was in the kitchen and he's like, you know, and he, funny, he didn't tell me that for a couple of years after I started thriving like that, that came out later that he's like, yeah, I noticed day one. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you didn't tell me, mm -hmm. but I noticed mm -hmm. Maria probably day five. Um, you know, okay. I, I, I took my steps. I, you know, I was doing the things. My friend told me to stop drinking Coca-Cola and I really thought somebody was going to like eh, around me. I'm like, I can't survive without I thought I couldn't survive without it. But, you right. know, gradually tapered off. I was drinking more water. Day five, I woke up happy. Like, I woke up and I was like, what? You know, as a cheerleader in high school, I'm 4'11". Like, I am a big personality and I just gotten <laughs> lost somewhere. And I woke up at 5 a.m. and I'm like, what is going on? And that was kind of a turning point for me. And then week two, I have two boys. Um, at the time, they were seven and 11. So week two, out of the blue one night in the middle of the week, my seven-year-old turns to me and he's like, Mom, you're not yelling at me anymore. I really like that. You know, horrible yeah. mom, you know? <laughs> And then week three, my 11-year-old, because I was still driving the school bus, we were getting up early and we were getting out of the house. Well, I was bouncing down the stairs at 6 a.m. a little different. Mm -hmm. I was louder. I was singing good morning songs and my oldest son asked me to be quiet oh. <laughs> loud at 6 a.m. You got to bring it down. And I'm mm -hmm. like, sorry. And I haven't brought it down. They've just gotten used yeah. to it. <laughs> to be quiet. But and That's then so five, my husband was the one that finally put that last nail in the coffin that I was going to thrive forever. I got into an argument with my youngest son, which we've been fighting forever. Like seriously, Mario, when he was, you know, in my belly, we were fighting. <laughs> and it just been, he's that child. <laughs> and, you know, we went got into an argument. It went completely different. I was just, you know, I was feeling better and I was, I was able to put more mom into my children. And I remember, I don't remember what the fight was about. I remember turning around and my husband was looking at me from the other room. Like he was looking at me for the first time. And I'm like, and we've been married 16 years, you know, this last summer. And I'm like, what? And he goes, you are different and you're not quitting. And that was, and I was still in the closet. <laughs> Still not telling anyone, only the husband. Did um did people at work start noticing something? You know, funny that you say that, because I was a waitress at lunchtime in my small town. Like I would drive the bus, then I would do a little secretary work at, at a church, and then I would go to lunch and do the lunch shift. Then I would go back to do the bus route and then I would go home. So my day was just all over the place. Yeah. And I remember one one day that first four weeks. I was working at the re at the restaurant and it was after the lunch rush and I was like walking around. I was like wiping stuff down and stuff. And, and the boss was sitting at the counter because that's what we did after lunch rush. She's like, what is wrong with you? Why do you have all that energy? And I'm like, Oh, I don't know. I'm just feeling good today. And <laughs> you know, I couldn't tell her because she was probably one of my biggest 
oh, thrive, blah, blah, blah. you know, we were <laughs> grumping about it. But so, yeah, people were starting to notice around me. Isn't that funny? Like, okay, so I can tell that we have a lot of our friends on here that are thriving. What do you think it is that makes us so naturally skeptical? You know, I mean, because I'll be honest, I was I was naturally a skeptic too. For me, it wasn't, um, for me, it was more, well, I'm already taking supplements. How is this any different than what I already have kind of type thing? And I honestly was kind of like, well, I'm already taking the best. Like, that you know that can't be any better or that sounds too good to be true mm-hmm. um you know for you it was it was immediately just a sticker I and mean, we see i recognized it as oh well that's a patch you know because patches have been used in medicine for years and years and years all different types of you know it's just we were the first that did dermofusion technology and put it into nutrition you know we're the first to do that so but some of you if, if you guys want to kind of add to that what do you think it is that that makes us so naturally skeptical is it you know because i i would think you know um i don't know if it's maybe somebody just thinking well it's not for me well no nutrition is for all of us (laughs) all of our bodies were designed to to need that and we we all do bring nutritional gaps to the table regardless of how great we try to eat um and oh, Jen, Jenny said arrogant ignorance and um, because it seems too simple, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I, I don't know. Um, you know what? Let's talk a little bit about what Thrive is. So Thrive is premium nutrition in three simple steps. So basically, guys, you wake up first thing in the morning, take one or two capsules on an empty stomach. We say before your feet hit the floor. And there really is a reason. If you've ever put that to the test, taking your Thrive before your feet hit the floor, like having them on the nightstand or keeping them in the kitchen or in the bathroom there there truly is a difference and if you haven't yet taken your two capsules before your feet hit the floor in the morning i want you doing that first thing in the morning okay um then step two is our ultra premium lifestyle mix so it's like ultra ultra micronized super fine powder not a meal replacement shake not a protein shake a good for your gut nutritional shake um loaded with premium probiotics digestive enzymes all the good for your gut nutrition Um, we know, or we should know, (laughs) um, you know, do some research on gut health and all the things, um, that it impacts y'all. I mean, that is a huge component to why people feel their results when they are thriving is that step two, um, which is getting your gut ready to absorb everything. And then of course, step three. Okay. Here's mine right here. Um, I'm wearing the white label base. It's the same thing as black label that you guys hear. And um, you've got on the regular DFT. Um, I slap on ultra a lot. Um, heck I'll throw on ultra with black label and not even think twice about it. <laughs> because I want both of them. Um, but yeah, there you go. There's your three simple steps. First thing in the morning on an empty stomach within the first 30 minutes of your day, you're done. You don't have to take anything to work with you or worry about an additional routine. Um, there you go. And that's really the basis of all the stories for me. I always tell everybody, Melissa, um, I feel 10 years younger and I've had people compliment that I look younger, which I'm only getting older. So I'll take that compliment, you know, Um, but I feel younger. And um, for me, I used to have headaches a lot before Thrive. I don't deal with those all the time. Um, My joints used to ache. My knees would ache. My hands would ache. So we got a ton of rain here in West Texas today. Thank God we needed it. Um, But before Thrive, my joints would have been aching before the rain even started. Um, and my hands would definitely be hurting right now and they don't anymore, it's, which is so crazy. Um, obviously energy, you know, energy to keep up with the kids and all the things that they have going on. I always say that before Thrive, I just barely did, you know, I wanted to do more, um, but I found myself often just spinning my wheels. And and basically, it's kind of like what you said, you pour everything you have into your career, which my career is as a speech pathologist. So I was pouring everything I had into my patients all day long. Um, I treated um, patients in the home health setting. And then by the time I came home, 
you know, it was nothing left for the kids, nothing left for my husband. I have four kids, you know, um, at the time we lived about 30 minutes from town and heck, I didn't want to go to the grocery store. Well, that does not work well. Like you need food in the house when you have a family of six, you know, mm -hmm. I remember dreading, um, having to drive, you know, an hour and a half to a basketball game because we live in rural West Texas that only lasted 35 minutes. You know, I just, I mean, it, it's not that I didn't like all the mom things, but I wasn't at my best. So they weren't getting me at my best, you know? Um, so I turned into the mom that was always looking forward to what my kids have going on. And I will tell you that since October is my seven year thrive anniversary. So next month I have been taking, I've been doing those three simple steps every single morning for seven years. Um, and you know, I look back and I'm like, I can't imagine, you know, raising my kid over the last seven years of all the, those phases of life that we went through. My daughter's a sophomore in college. I've got a son that's in eighth grade now. My twins are in fourth grade. You know, that last, the last seven years has been absolutely incredible because I've been at my best. Not that it's, you know, thrives a cure all and makes life always <laughs> We've had plenty of curveballs thrown at us, but you know what? As far as nutrition being on point and getting good rest at night and waking up feeling rested, and and even if you do wake up and had a rough night and you don't feel rested, give that thing thirty minutes and you're ready to go and you're ready to conquer your day and you're ready to handle you know whatever craziness life is going to throw your way. Um, so I'm so grateful for it, and that's why I haven't stopped talking about it. So. Um, what is it now that keeps you so excited to when I say, hey, you know, do you want to do a live to hop on here? Or what is it that keeps you excited to continue to share this with your friends? Just their stories. Like, <laughs> uh, the messages are so addicting. And yeah. just knowing it's the anticipation, too, because I know as soon as, you know, somebody places that order and that box is on the way. Like I know in the next four weeks, I don't know if it'll be day one, day 10, day 15, but I know in those next four weeks, my phone is going to blow up with something. And it's yeah. just waiting, just that anticipation of, okay, is today going to be their day? And, and it always happens. Always. Yes. So it's like, it's giving this, you know, my used to like, you know, lock myself in the bathroom and cry at the end of the day just because like, you know, you're just so frustrated with dropping all, all the balls and just feeling like you just, you, there's not enough of you to go around. And whenever like I remember her, I'm like, there's another mom next to me that really needs this. She might yeah. not know she needs it. She might think she doesn't need a sticker on her arm, but right. I know better. And I know that, you know, everybody needs this. Yeah. And if I can put that in somebody's hand and then, you know, in two weeks, they're like, oh, thank you so much. And yeah. I'm like, you're welcome. Now let's no rush out of it. Yeah. Let's you go really do. Fun. Um, I had somebody ask me that and she's like, well, why do you think you felt so bad? And I was like, well, it all boils down to nutritional gaps. I mean, basically, but I said, I didn't know what I didn't know. Like I didn't know how bad I really felt until I felt better, you know, mm -hmm. and then you don't ever want to go back to that. And then, you know, as you hear, you know, people complain of certain things, you know, they're, they're friends and they're just telling the truth. And, and you're like, Oh, got something for that. Oh, got something for that. If you'll, trust me, if you'll just trust me, if you will just trust me, you know, this, this isn't about a sales thing. Um, yeah, we make some sales. Yes, we do. But we wouldn't make sales and continue to make sales if this stuff wasn't making a huge impact on people's lives. And I think sure, you know, wouldn't be making sales if the, this wasn't something that I was personally doing every single morning without fail. Um, you know, my story, my story hasn't changed. Really, it's only gotten better um, because of the impact that this has had on our family and the options it's created because there's a business opportunity with this too. Um, so Angie said something, she's like, this girl has inspired me in so many ways. Not only has she changed in her looks and how she carries herself, but how she has grown spiritually and mentally. So very proud of this lady. So thrivers end up, I think if you hang around this long enough, first of all, you're going to get the product in your body. And then there's something about like maybe a dose of motivation that's in those capsules. I don't know what it is. And then you get around this group of people that chooses to uplift and encourage. Cause obviously we're addicted to 
hearing stories of people's lives improving. And so we end up cheering on and then you start dreaming and then you start doing and then just life in general changes. So share some of the things like what does she mean about your growth or <laughs> about, you know, I mean, because obviously it's not just an attitude change. Like what what is this really done for you overall? Um, I think it unburied me. Um, there was so many, I'm not going to cry, but there's like, there was so many layers, like, like on top, you know, um, you get married and then you're a wife and then you're a mom and you're like all these things. And, you know, not that I had a bad life. I had an amazing life. My husband is awesome. And like, you know, outside looking in, it was a wonderful life. I mean, it's just, I, I just, I lost myself somewhere. And when I started feeling better on the inside, nothing really changed on the outside right away. It's more of that feeling on the inside. Mm -hmm. It's like you kind of wake up and you look around and you're like, what the heck am I doing? This isn't me. And then you just rediscover yourself. Like, you know, I, like I'm, I've always had a love for God, but I'd lost that along the way. And, you know, and now it's very present. You know, I'm, I'm praying practically all day and, you know, like, and, and I feel like I've, I've put myself back into my marriage. You know, my, my husband and I have a stronger marriage now. Um, I feel like I have a stronger relationship with my children and with the friends in my life. Like, I just feel like I have almost started my life over again. And I've had to repair some relationships, but I've repaired them, you know, and and now we're building off of that. And it's just it's just basically finding your true self that yeah. somehow gets lost along the way sometimes. Yeah. And I guarantee you everyone on here will say that at some point, you know, they felt that way. I mean, that is a very real and I appreciate you being so vulnerable that he's rediscovered yourself. It's a perfect way to explain it. I love that. Um, oh, Johnny mentioned it's disappointing when I give samples and they don't feel what I feel or they say it's not for them. I wish they would just try it for eight weeks because not everybody feels it right away. Honestly, Johnny, I, I get that completely. Here's how I describe our samples. So um, if you ever ask for a sample, yes, we have those readily available, but here is the deal. Um, in three days, miracles do not happen. OK, so typically that sample pack is simply a taste test to introduce you to the simplicity. You may or not notice anything. I personally did not notice anything until day five. <laughs> um, my husband noticed something right away, but he didn't say a word, meaning for him. He didn't notice anything in me. <laughs> he, he <laughs> I started and he noticed something in him. Um, but we've had, you know, sometimes it takes a good seven to 10 days, you know, um, and sometimes the changes are so small that you know, not everyone has like an aha moment, but they commit to the eight week experience. And at the end of week eight, it's very different than it was at the beginning of week one. But the changes were so subtle over time that they didn't notice until you really like, wait a second, look back. I mean, one of my simple kind of aha moments a little bit later down the road, Melissa, I'd, I'd been invited on a girl's trip and we were on the car and everyone was talking about their hair falling out in the shower and like, you know, always having it. That's disgusting, but it's a reality. Most people hair falls in the drinks called. And I started to chime in on the conversation and I went, wait a minute, my hair's not falling out anymore. And that was a result of me thriving. But see, it wasn't something that I noticed. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's just some of those. Um, oh, Johnny, I was a day one thriver. So that's why you're frustrated. <laughs> um, you know, I always say there's day one thrivers and then there's the rest of us that are just jealous of the day one thrivers. Oh, but, yeah, it is. I mean, it's a commitment. It's just like going going to the gym and, um, you know, trying out and, you know, a new fitness routine. If you do it for three days, you're probably going to be sore. You're probably going to be like, Oh, I don't want to, this is miserable. I don't want to do this. But when you commit to that for eight weeks, then you're going to see something. Um, and, and so that's kind of what it all boils down to. But um, I'm trying to see if there's any more questions. Did Can you add real quick to yeah. that? Please. Yes. Good for Johnny. Um, I love samples. You know, samples are great, but Johnny, I suggest to, um, having somebody paint that picture, not you. 
because they won't hear you. Have somebody else paint. Well, Johnny heard felt something day one. They're hearing that. <laughs> and you'll but like like you'll put them on the phone with Melissa Topper, who didn't notice anything until day five and yeah. two and and whatever. And those calls are amazing. Throwing them with somebody else, and they can say the same exact thing, Maria, and you know that you've been saying, and they're not okay. hearing you. And then they're yeah. like, oh, Maria said this. And I'm like, girl, I've been telling you that for weeks. <laughs> but yes, yes. Yeah. I think, I think that's part of it too. And, um, you know, the biggest thing too, I think always in what we do, we're always working together. Like nobody around her works alone. Um, and our goal for our friends when they start thriving with us is for them to feel like a million bucks. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, that's sometimes you take another thriver and you say, Hey, this is what she's noticing. You know, what, what should we do differently? Um, and the biggest culprit is always water intake. You know, if you're not drinking water, and that thrive is not going to do its magic as much as yes. I love that. Um, so I, I feel like water kind of becomes your new energy drink when you're thriving. Mm -hmm. like the, the more hydrated you are, um, the better you actually feel as well. So um, anyway, well, guys, thank you so much for hopping on. Melissa, you're amazing. I understand why your team is just obsessed with you. <laughs> you're so um, you are a bright light. It's so Keep great meeting you. <laughs> you're so sweet so all right guys well we're gonna wrap it up um if someone sent you this video um just to share a little bit more about thrive get back with them and just say okay i'm ready i'm gonna trust you i'm gonna give this a full 30 days it's an eight week experience guess what you don't have to order all eight weeks at one time you can do four weeks do a four week pack order, get a box of free shakes while you're at it. Make sure you ask them about that. Then your second part of your eight week experience can actually be free. Ask them about that because we really pride ourselves in everyone being able to thrive for free and um, just take that leap of faith. You know, you have nothing to lose. And the, the biggest complaint I hear y'all is when someone says, why did I wait so long? You know, my only regret is that it took me this long. So um, you've got nothing to lose. Just go for it. So again, everybody tell Melissa, thank you for being on. Um, we just adore you and love your story. And um, you guys have fun tomorrow night. Stay warm and um, we will see you guys soon. All right. Bye guys.